Hi guys and welcome back to another LucaVision video and welcome back to another national selection video. Oh, oh yeah! That's right, today is a very special national selection video because we're going to be having a little look at the three tracks that could potentially represent Belarus in the Eurovision Song Contest 2021. Now guys, I'm a little bit stumped here because I don't know if there's any more songs that could potentially represent Belarus. All I know is from what I have googled and what you guys have been telling me, it's really hard information to come across. So the tracks I have written down here are Kazna Braids, Bridgie with Kiss and Gun and Pavloni, My Dreams Come True. How random is that? One sounds like a Disney song, one sounds like a death metal song, and one sounds like an R&B song. So, this is going to be interesting to say the least, isn't it? Now, today's video and all of the content that I'm about to watch comes to us courtesy of Feathery. Feathery was asking that I have a little look at Braids, and I thought, well, actually, why don't I have a little look at all of the songs that could potentially represent Belarus? So, that's what you're getting today, folks. And please, if there's any more information on Belarus for 2021, let me know in the comments down below, because I don't know if I've missed anyone. I don't want to leave anybody out. Now, for the 2020 season, Belarus were my underdogs. I absolutely adored David. Nah. David, nah, it was one of my faves. I thought it could have done so, so well. The drop was everything. Not to mention the backing dancer who looked a lot like me doing a death drop. Maybe I was just biased. In which case, I'm super pumped to see what they're going to be bringing to the 2021 contest. And before we get cracking, I want to know your top three. I want to know what you think of these entrants. So without further ado, enough chat. Let's react. So, as aforementioned guys, please go and check out Feathery's channel down below in the description box. Another great channel with amazing Eurovision content and that's why I found all of these videos I'm about to react to now. So yet again, thank you so much Feathery for giving me permission to react to these videos today. Let's see what Belarus have to offer. So, let's go. So we're starting with Kazna and Braids. Sounds good. Harmony is on point! I'm loving the kind of native sa like sounds to the vocals. They must be focusing so hard on these harmonies. They can talk of the one, but I'm gonna walk, but I'm gonna walk the way that I want. So fly, how I rock my brain. Oh my god, where did this come from? Vocal acrobats, growls, little falsetto flips, rap. What is going on? I love that her braids match his jumper. Talk about style. I'm liking the Middle Eastern sounds in this track. Where are we now? This song does not give you a minute to relax. Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. There's an amazing Eurovision moment there brought to us in 2021. I don't know what to say. She's doing really well to keep those vocals on point while she is dancing around. She has stage presence down to a T. I don't know if this is a joke entry or not. The music is crazy. The Middle Eastern vibe is amazing. I'm here for it. It's I don't know. The hook in it is great though. She's enjoying herself and that's the main thing. I just don't know where I am with this song. Eh? I don't think I liked it. Well, next up is Bridgie. Okay, this sounds like a, a power ballad. Very dark undertone, just in the music. I feel like this is a very bad quality sort of sound because it's doing it live in a studio. I wish he worked on his enunciation, I don't understand what he's singing. Wow, that quality. Very unique vocal arrangement. I love the way the song starts very and then goes right up there and then goes back down there. Mm -hmm. 
the darker tones is definitely the way forward with this song. Maybe oh, if this was performed live on stage, maybe the whole essence would come to life a little bit more. Not feeling this. <laughs> Is he drunk? Guys, oh, I really don't like to be negative. But, but this is the longest, like, two minutes in my life. I mean, this hook's good. There's a lot going on production-wise as well. I just feel like he's really... Okay, next is Pavloni, My Dreams Come True. This sounds the most Disney thing I've ever heard, so let's, oh bless her. She's loving life. Flirting with the camera, or is she flirting with me? Oh, disco. Oh, reminds me of Cascada if she was a Disney princess. Nice little build. Oh, she's sweet. She's got a lovely, sweet voice. It sounds very demo-ish, doesn't it? Okay, now it sounds like the Venga Boys. Oh, bless her. I just feel like she's put a little bit more oomph into her vocals. The backing track sounds quite demo-ish, if I'm being honest. Uh, it almost sounds like there's a metronome in the background. I love that this second verse has got a different arrangement. It's almost like a rap or talky, speaky part. And it really adds an extra bit of intrigue to the track, do you know what I mean? Loving this musicality now in this bridge. Nice bit of solo choreography going on. Is that like an accordion in the background? Here we go, here's the beat. Guys. It just sounds a bit karaoke, but I th I think it's probably just because in the setting, she's not on the stage and the levels are off. Do you know what I mean? The music level and the vocal level is a bit to and fro. It's pleasant enough and I love that there's slight ethnic elements in instrumentation. Oh, is he a little curtsy then at the end? Like, thanks. Oh, bless her. Okay, breakdown time. Guys, I really don't like to be negative, but if I wasn't honest with you, then my role here as a reactor would be null and void. I didn't like any of them. I'm so sorry. I, I, none of them were really on my wavelength, or well, they're not really something I would listen to, and I'm so disappointed because last year, Belarus smashed it with Davidna, but I just couldn't get into any of them. I mean, yes. Music isn't for everybody. Everybody has different opinions. The best out of the bunch, I would say, is Kazna with Braids. That really just had a modern edge to it, and it was cool, it was urban. She really owned that stage. She was whipping her hair back and forth. And the aesthetics of it was on point, and it really could appeal to a wider audience. And to be honest, I think it will grow on me, especially the instrumentation. It was just a little bit crazy for my little brain to take on, do you know what I'm saying? And the other two songs sounded very demo. Maybe I need to listen to the studio version, but I'm really quite disappointed. And I'm so sorry to end this song on a bad note, but the best of the bunch was Kazna, and I, didn't, I don't think I'd listen to any of those again. And I'm so sorry about it, because every song has good in it. And those songs did have good elements in there, but they just weren't to my taste, I'm afraid. <sighs> Wow, I feel bad. But again, that's just my opinion. That doesn't represent the whole of the UK, that just represents me. Please let me know down below in the comments section what you think of these songs and if there's any of those that stand out to you. Let me know down below if there's a hidden meaning behind any of these songs that I may have missed. May that come in the songwriting or the musical inflections. I like to learn. So if there's an important issue I've missed from these songs, let me know, guys. But in my opinion, it's the weakest national selection yet. But like I said, just my opinion. Don't come for me. But that is all from this video today, guys. If you actually like these songs from Belarus, please give this video a big thumbs up so I can see that I'm wrong. And while you're at it, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button for more honest opinions like this. But that is all from this video today, guys. All that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.